And the accusations President Trump is making against Joe Biden have been widely debunked. Now, this story involves three main players, Joe Biden, his son, Hunter, and a man who was the top prosecutor in Ukraine named Viktor Shokin. Back in 2016, Hunter Biden was working for a natural gas company in Ukraine, and Shokin was investigating its owner. But the U.S. and several Western allies did not think Shokin was doing enough to clean up corruption in Ukraine. So then Vice President Biden went to Ukraine. He threatened to withhold U.S say a billion dollars worth if Shokin was not fired because the United States didn't want to give money to a country that would be squandered by a corrupt government. Now, Shokin was fired. President Trump claims Vice President Biden's ultimatum there is the real crime here, but there's no evidence of that. In fact, PolitiFact and The Washington Post both investigated this claim and they found no wrongdoing on the part of Vice President Biden when he demanded that Shokin be fired. He was acting on behalf of the U.S. government and our allies, including Europe, who wanted the same outcome. Now, we should emphasize this. There is no evidence it was for personal or political gain. There's also no evidence that Shokin's investigation into the gas company was targeting Hunter Biden, something else that President Trump has falsely claimed. But PolitiFact did find several Ukrainian experts who say Hunter Biden's work for the gas company did present a possible conflict of interest. No crime, but perhaps not the best decision considering his father at the time was the vice president.